guys and welcome to Rathalina's American Girl Doll channel. Uh, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, in today's video, I'm actually going to be opening and reviewing along with two of my dolls here. I have Grace and I have Ina and they're in kind of their wintry outfits. Um, we're going to be opening this Our Generation. It's called OG Chocotastic Stand. It's a hot chocolate stand. It's really, really super cute. So I actually wanted to buy this last year in 2020, but it sold out so fast I wasn't able to get it. This is it in its packaging. Um, and then it, they, at some point, I think maybe in April of this year, 2021, it was available again for sale. And then I just recently um, ended up purchasing it uh, in September. And I wanted to get it before it sells out because last year it sold out in like, I think it sold out in October. So if you look at the side, um, I'm going to just kind of show you all sides of it before I get it out of the packaging. So it has um, this menu thing, and this is like a fake chalkboard. It's already printed on there, so it's not a sticker exactly. Um, it's it's more somehow printed on there. It's not actually a sticker, um, so it's not like it flips up on the side and there's a sticker. At least not as far as I can tell. Um, and and there's this fake wood here on the bottom and if you look at the back um which i guess it's meant to be like a hot chocolate stand at a ski loft or something so there's like a fake chocolate piece i think you can kind of see these drips coming down the side um and then this is like a fake wood and this is all plastic this retails for a little bit less than 50 dollars um i got it actually even american girl there's been some leaks of a new, like, I don't know if it would be hot cocoa, but more like a barista um, that American Girl's releasing, and it hasn't been released yet. And the reason I thought to get this was, I think it'll be cheaper. I don't know how much the American Girl barista will be. Um, and I also wanted this last year so much because, and I'll show you why, I think the little piece of chocolate, they come out of the cups, and so it's very versatile for many different many different types of play setups. So I'm gonna like cut this part off with the tape and I think I'm gonna clip out some of this, but um, you know, I'm just gonna like take apart these pieces here and then we'll kind of take apart this plastic stuff. So if you have our generation, you know, you know that there's a lot of this, um, a lot of the plastic and then a lot of the tape um, the price point is quite a bit cheaper for these types of items with food and stuff. It's a bit cheaper than American Girl. So I kind of like, um, I love American Girl dolls so much and I love their clothes. So I don't really buy our generation clothing or dolls so much, but for sets like this that are like just food, I tend to, I end up purchasing our generation. And I'm going to get all this tape off of it, all this like little tape pieces here, there's more tape down here, and um, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I just got it all free, and I think I got everything, all the tape and stuff out. So this is the refrigerator area, it opens and closes, there are two drawers that are... I guess they're not exactly removable, I think you could probably remove them. Um, they're plastic. I think there's a bit of like tape or something holding them down. Um, but there's two drawers, uh, shelves, so that you could have three levels. And then there is a dishwasher down here with a little rack thing. And these buttons actually press. They don't light up or anything. Um, there's just a green, um, zoom in a little bit on that. There's a green spot and a red spot. Um, and they do push in, so you can have some play value there, but they don't, like, light up or in many, make any noises. Um, this is the little pink thing, and it has all of the information about what is included in the set, if you want to pause and look at that. Um, a bunch of stuff kind of, like, came out of the packaging. And I'm going to go through and try to make sure I have everything. Um, so, as I sort of set it up. So first there is the hot chocolate uh, dispenser, I think this would be called, or a machine. So in the thing you call a hot chocolate machine, it comes with a lid that is removable. 
and um, this is a hard plastic chocolate kind of thing. This thing actually does move, so I'm going to turn to the side so you can, you can pretend to dispense. I think that's really cute. There's a fake kind of button here that sort of squishy and moves, I think, a little bit. Well, not really, but like it moves a little bit, not a full button. And um, so that's a cute thing. I'll put it over there. And this is one toppings tray with three toppings. So that is, I believe, this piece here. So the toppings don't come out, so you can flip it over and they're all like in there. There's some focus, like heart shaped um, pink and white hearts in the middle and um, chocolate chips over here. Let's see if I can go to the side, maybe it'll come in focus a little bit. So here there's the heart and they're white and red. And then there's um, some kind of, I think, peppermint uh, candy cane kind of shavings there. And there's the chocolate chips. So I just put that there. And then it comes with a set of tongs that are plasticky, um, a little bit pliable. Um, you can move them in and out. I think these are better tongs than the ones that came with the pizza sets. Um, but that's my personal opinion. Um, I think that's called the scooper. There's two sets of marshmallow sticks. So those would be these. These kind of look like pieces for s'mores. There's actual, like a pretzel, I guess, stick. And then the two marshmallows on each one. And you get two of those. Let's see if it'll... Some reason the autofocus is not working as well as it used to, but there it is. It comes with three signs that kind of clip on. Maybe I'll keep things kind of further away. There's a skating sign, a snow tubing sign, and a ski lift sign. Kind of go in the other direction. Um, and those can go on the front part. I'm just going to Put them down here. I'm just gonna put them in this part here right now because I'm um, probably not gonna play as much with that, but it's there nonetheless. It says one cup and saucer of mint hot chocolate, one cup and saucer of spiced hot chocolate, one mug of mocha hot chocolate, one mug of peanut butter hot chocolate, and one mug of classic hot chocolate. So you have three mugs and then two cups. Um, and saucers with um, so the cups and saucers are a little bit extra. so I'll do the cups and saucers first and then the mugs so you have a cup and saucer like this you have two sets of those and what I think is so absolutely fascinating about this collection and this is really what kind of made me buy it and kind of zoom in and I'm also going to bring it up a little higher so you can look down into them because it's just so cool you can put the piece of the chocolate the hot chocolate this is the hot chocolate with the mint and this is the hot chocolate with like cinnamon or apple cider these pieces come out and it's like completely clean on the inside isn't that so cool? So you can you can mix and match it. If you have a child, they can pretend to make the hot chocolate and put the little toppings on. So it's like very, very interactive. So you get two cups and saucers. I'm just gonna put those little marshmallow things maybe on the side. They don't quite fit. Um, but you know you can you can mix and match this with other collections, maybe have more more options there. And for the mugs, it's similar. So here's the mug of peanut butter. 
and it comes out. This is so cool. Like there you can see the peanut butter topping. Um, so you can pretend like you can start with the clean mug and then, you know, you can pretend to come over here and pour, let's see if it's shown. Um, you can pretend to pour with that and then you can flip that knob back and forth and then you can put that in there and put the toppings on and put the toppings on so you have the whole thing. So that's one mug, there are three mugs. There's another mug. Some of them have straws, some don't. So this one has a straw with some kind of whipped cream, I guess, or caramel on top. And that's also a clean mug. And then the third mug, which I think is really adorable. Um, the third mug actually has chocolate drizzled down the side. Let's see if you can focus on that. Because I think this is really neat. So it comes out, and this mug is actually kind of like dirty. It has chocolate drizzled down the side. So you can also pretend to put that in your little dishwasher down here. And then you can end up pretending to get your clean mug out from the top. So that's just really cool. I would say that that's a really neat detail that our generation did. I think this just the interactiveness, the amount of play you can do with having the three cups and or the three mugs plus the two cups and saucers is just I mean I think it's incredible um, I think it's super super cute on like <laughs> so many levels um, it also comes with a milk carton two sugar cookies two snowflake cookies a tray with a stand a pair of tongs which I think I already mentioned and um, chocolate syrup bottle and three arrow signs. We showed you the three arrow signs. And this is a cardboard uh, carton that could easily get broken, but it's of milk. We can put that down there in our refrigerator. And if you have other like fake foods, you could definitely oh. increase the amount of things in that refrigerator. There's a lot of space in there. And then there is the syrup. Uh, the little chocolate syrup. So the middle part, let's see if we can do this, middle bar actually moves around and so you can actually pretend to be pouring and you can see that little bar like as you go back and forth. Um, and I think that's a really cute detail because that increases the, the playability of it. This is the little scooper. I actually think the scooper is for the toppings. I'll put that down there. And the tongs are actually for the cookies and this is the cookie stand uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna set this up yet um, I may set it up face forward I think I'm gonna have it in my snow scene um, this little wintry scene but I actually can put the that on the stand so it's getting a little bit cluttered <laughs> um, There are four cookies that I can see. I'm gonna double check to make sure that that's how many are supposed to be. There's one of these, it's like, flip it over, it's chocolate on one side, and there's a clear hole in the middle. There's a snowflake cookie, which actually comes, also as part of a couple of the other Our Generation Christmas sets. I have a couple of these Christmas cookies already. This snowflake, it's actually a light pink color. I don't know why it's not coming in as pink right now, but it's the same color as the stand, which is also a light pink. And there's two of those snowflake cookies. Um, and there's actually two of these with the chocolate. But you could literally put this down like that and it looks like a non-chocolate. So if you wanted a chocolate and vanilla, you could probably put the chocolate one, one of the chocolates face down. And you look like you have a little bit more variety in terms of your cookies. So yeah, you have two sugar cookies, two snowflake cookies, a tray with a stand, a pair of tongs, and everything. So I've shown you guys everything. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like this? Are you more excited about the American Girl set that's coming out soon? I don't have the American Girl set. I guess it's not out yet. Um, or do you really like this Our Generation set? Have Ina over there on the side. Her and um, Grace are probably going to be manning the hot chocolate sand. I'm going to set it up a little bit more um, after this. But what do you guys think? Do you like it? I'm really, really excited about these different... Um, chocolate options we have here. It makes me really hungry for some hot chocolate and I'm really glad and 
happy I got the set this year because last year, as I said, it ran out early. And so I wasn't able to get it. So I'm really, really happy that I'm able to get it and include it in my Christmas scenes or my winter scenes this year. And um, let me know in the comments what you think. And please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye!